Hi, Art Signs. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. So I'm going to do the daily messages for August 22nd and the 23rd, Wednesday and Thursday, 2018. It'll just be for the Earth Sign Collective. If it resonates for you, that's awesome. You know, even take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You could watch the other elements. But also, Earth Signs, definitely check out the ones that I post over on Instagram. They're videoed. They're per element, just like I'm doing here, but only they're a minute long, very informative, quick, right to the point. You guys will love them, I promise. So we're using the Arcanium Tarot. Beautiful deck, same illustrator as the popular Thelema that I'm sure many of you've seen. And guys, stick around to the end, because for all of you guys, for each element, I'm going to pull one of these fabulous cards Bad Bitches Tarot. They're by Ethany. She's on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, E-T-H-O-N-Y. Beautiful, amazing deck. They are geared more towards women, but that's why I'm going to use them for a clarifier for now. In a private reading, if you wanted to use these, I would. And these are rose gold. I have such a fabulous HD studio light camera lighting, I mean. And it will not pick up this rose gold, no matter what I do. Oh, there you could see some of it that way. Right here. Oh, there we're getting some. Wow, you guys are the first side I'm able to get it through. And of course the sides are in that in the rose gold. And they're just the cardstock is beautiful. Like look at the hermit. The world. You know, and she went with like all different shapes and sizes of women. Just really amazing. Four of Cups. Ace of Cups. So we're going to just like use this, use these for the clarifier. But really an amazing deck. Listen, I'm not even going to pay to say this, but these cards, they're heavy. They'll last a very, very, very long time. They really will. Just, I'm totally in love with them. We're still bonding. Yes, we are. Okay. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, friends. You know, I'm an earth sign just like you guys. I had to go on about my new deck. Okay. These are pretty new too, but I connected with these instantly. Okay. Plus, I want to get, like, I've been reading the book too when I, when I get the time. So I want to get, like, her version too. Like... Of what she thinks of the, the Hierophant, which I don't usually read the books, but with her deck I am. Okay, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, 23rd, 24th, 2018. That actually feels perfect for signs. essential issue earth signs oh why do we feel stuck in the mind worrying that mental prison foundation judgment well maybe you're finally hearing the call seeing the light the full reversed in the recent past sign of Aries crowning you the knight of swords Moving forward, wow, beautiful. The Wheel of Fortune, look at it in this deck. Wishes and dreams coming true, my friend. Friends, should say. Okay, well, some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries that you've most probably have let go yet or are just about ready to. For some of you... Really, this is fear. Needing to work on letting go of your fear. You know, definitely needing to get out of your head. You know, I feel like with this combination, the Knight of Swords and the Fool. Look at the Fool upright. You know, there's there's confusion, but but definitely confusion. 
like I said here, like with your wishes and your dreams, because of the stars all around this, and that's kind of looks like a star in the middle to me, but it's like I don't know, like I definitely feel that some of you I feel like you definitely need to speak up, speak to someone, you know, to an, it could be an air, it could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or an Aries, or it could be both. But basically, this is really needing to communicate with someone, you know, needing to open up, tell each other your wishes and your dreams, needing to communicate, needing to take a leap of faith. Some of you might even need to travel. But really needing to take a big leap of faith. That's meant to be. But we'll get there. I feel like with this Knight of Swords. Oh, he's supposed to, he's reversed. With this Knight of Swords. This could be that you need to speak to someone that could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or an Aries, or it could be both, but basically this is really needing to communicate with someone, needing to open up, and definitely needing to take a leap of faith. Some of you definitely need to travel, and I feel like with the Knight of Swords, some of you need to, to, to wake up. Like, you know, this is really, look at this card. This is the divine. This is spirit calling you. The time is now for really so much. A lot of green and red is growth, stability, security, and passion for me. And even with just with judgment, I feel that's a lot of what's needed here. Knowledge, liberation, needing to just go. I feel like you do want to go somewhere. You need to do something. And really, eventually, even though both of your eyes are closed in both of these cards, this is a major arcana, but I fear for a lot of you because your eyes are closed in this card too. You know, but a lot of you, I do think definitely, why do I keep putting the cards in the wrong place? Probably because it's like night, well, it's only 7.30. I never do that though, so there's a reason for that. But spirit definitely caught, and I really do think you're going to notice that. You know, this is your angels, your spirit guides guiding you on the path that you're meant to be on. This is an angel. You know, definitely trying to guide you. And here too, you know, this is, this is everything that's going on in your life. Everything that's going on in your life, it was all really meant to be. It's karma, destiny, you know, things happening at the precise moment in time that they're meant to happen. You know, it, it's the wheel turning in your favor. And really, I'm telling you guys, and with all these stars being around this, you know, a star in the middle with judgment, like, look at these cards together. This is spirit guiding you. Literally. It's a beautiful combination. I feel strongly and passionate about this combination. Like, you are being called and divinely guided to make a move, but you really do need to get out of your head first earth signs this is monumental and it's in your future that's life changing higher forces at play if you're dealing with people you have Aries you have Libra Gemini Aquarius but with the wheel of fortune this is exactly where you need to be whether it's job family love doesn't matter the wheel of fortune literally is pushing you to move forward you cannot stay here if you have something to say or if you have something to do please go do it 
you're you're only you're your own worst enemy right now, Earth signs. Listen, I'm a Virgo. I get it. You like to be patient and take your time, but you know, like higher forces at play. Some of you are just not going to have any choice. I mean, but why put off the inevitable? Just go. It's already here. You know, you could have, it could have been this way, and you were almost ready to take that leap of faith, and you chickened out. You could be hearing something. You could be, you some of you could be waiting on a decision from your from your job. For some of you, it could be coming from an Aries, an air sign. Uh, let's clarify using this deck. Starting with the Eight of Swords. Okay. Um, let me, while I'm here, to look at Judge. That meant to go there. I am like you are the guys are the only are your lives all like sporadic right now? I never do this. This is going on judgment. And I said the eight of swords and I put it on judgment. Well, look at all that clarity. Look at that moon coming through. Water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But I honestly think that this is you emotionally and mentally tied up to where, like I just said this, where you, pro you, you could be putting yourself in this position. You know, it's a clarifier. So I don't see it being lies, deceit, unless it's lies that, that you're telling yourself to keep yourself this way. sign friends you're not letting go of something either and spirit literally is pushing you to move forward to let go of something or someone and I do feel like it's a Scorpio Cancer Pisces Wheel of Fortune. Oh, definitely that one. Two of Swords. You know, this is feeling blocked, closed off, confused. There is a lot of confusing energy here. Trying to make a decision. Let me look at your Knight of Swords. Okay, the Four of Cups just fell out. Oops, sorry. Let me grab another one there. Um, I'll just take right from the top. Okay, you have the Four of Cups and the Queen of Swords. More air energy. Libra Gemini Aquarius. This is... This is like... You're not communicating with someone. This is definitely a relationship to a situation or a partnership of some kind. And I feel like you're longing for something that you can't have. But I'm very serious when I tell you that you absolutely can. You're just not communicating with them right now. They could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or they could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And this is most likely you, especially if you have, if you're a female, 
if not female, you could be the Knight of Swords reversed and you're upset. You're definitely being called to walk away from something that has kept you blocked for a very long time. But you will definitely be released from a situation with the Wheel of Fortune. Fortune and Judgment is also very much a healing card. Big time. And you will be released, really. I just love, too, how you have the moon coming through both of these cards. You know, I feel like definitely some of you are going to receive clarity, truth. Big time. All right, let me get you guys an advice card. Virgo. Additional advice for Virgo for 23rd, 22nd, 23rd, 2018, August 22nd, 23rd, 2018, Virgo, perfect, Virgo. Virgo, the Ten of Cups, happiness, contentment, spending time with friends and family, you know, just very, very happy, emotionally in a good place. And with Ten does reduce to a One, it's definitely a new beginning on an emotional level. There's so much hope and happiness. Um, Taurus, you have the Knight of Cups, so a love offer opportunity that's going to make you very, very happy. It's going to make you very, very excited. Any water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Either communication or some very exciting news. Whatever it is, it's going to make you very happy. Either you're receiving it or giving it. Capricorn, the Four of Wands. Family, security, stability. Maybe you're buying a new home. Moving to a new home. Redecorating your home. But your family life is happy. You're, you're, you're feel, you feel stable, secure, grounded. You know, your four, four walls of security and stability are solid. Your family solid. Very nice, guys. Very nice for the advice. Love it. What was I going to say about that? Knight of Cups could be that communication from the Queen of Swords. It's possible. Or this water sign that you've been waiting for. For some of you. Especially Taurus. That was your card. But nice energy. Not bad at all. I mean, really, you guys got the wheel. And you got wishes and dreams coming true. Get out of your head, realize that. And you'll move forward for sure. And a lot of you are. So that's amazing. Alright, my earth signs. Absolutely love you guys. Hope the reading helped you guys out in some way, shape, or form. But again, please watch the Insta Instagram readings. You guys really will love them. I promise you. Absolutely love you guys. Have a beautiful two days and I'll see you back here soon. Take care.